Hi, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Welcome to this beautiful Sunday with our special guest. Actually, we have Mimi, our core member, and Sisi, which is one of the special guests to do a meditation with us today. So we just want to give a brief um, background on our Light Warrior community as well. So we actually host space for you guys every Sunday, same time, for like 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And definitely check our calendar and the clock. If you haven't joined our Facebook page, please definitely join it because it will show you a lot of updates from our group. So now I would like to pass it to Sissy and Mimi. Thank you. Welcome to Light Warrior Collective. Um, the holidays are closed, so we are aimed to hold a small revolution here and to celebrate our bodies, right? Not two bodies have the same shape, and we all have different relationships with our bodies. And sometimes I, I found myself um, complaining about my belly or my face or my hair, like today, because it's windy, right? And sometimes I feel like I have something wrong, wrong with me. And I'm not kind with myself on um, the same way I'm, some, I'm kind with others, right? And um, through my life, I've learned that um, my body is a vessel in which we can um, co create, right? And um, uh, recently I found a book <laughs> from someone that I truly, really, truly love, which is Ceci Liscano, yeah, family as well. And she um, started to write a book that is called Normal Bodies. In this uh, book, um, amazing women from all over uh, uh, the place are sharing their experiences and their relationship with their body and how they manage to go through life um, uh, accepting themselves and uh, becoming a better person, right? Just by the fact of uh, uh, sharing their story with others as well. So I would like to uh, introduce you to Ceci Liscano so she can talk a, a little bit about the book and then we are going to do a meditation uh, that was inspired in this book with these amazing stories of many women. And um, what I'm going to ask you is to please um, go with the flow because we are going to ask you sometimes, well, we are going to ask you to look to yourself into the mirror or imagine yourself in front of a mirror. Then we are going to ask you to focus on a specific part of, of your body. We are going to ask you to be kind to yourself. We are going to ask you sometimes to touch yourself like your mouth, or your, mouth your nose or your mouth or your belly, massage your belly. And uh, um, if you feel like um, at the end of the meditation, if you feel like doing it, we are going to ask you to repeat uh, positive uh, affirmations regarding to your body. So Ceci, why don't you tell us a little bit more about the book and why you did this and, and all of ab about it, because I've read this book like five, <laughs> five times now. <laughs> And I'm really happy that I found it. Sure. So I'll tell you a little bit of the story, how this book started. Um, it was back in 2018, about, uh, I met Sophie, a good friend from, from England, it's a writer. And we became very good friends in, in her short stay here in Mexico. Uh, during her stay, she eventually posed nude for an artist. I am an artist. I study art. So. Yeah, we know August. <laughs> and eventually she she fought her fears and posed for an artist uh, nude. And after she saw the finished painting, she was very shocked because she started to see something that she never saw before. She saw that her body was unique, that her body was beautiful. And that really stuck to her. Eventually she left. Mexico, she is a digital nomad and a writer, so she's traveling all around the world. And later on, she calls me and tells me, well, I, I want to do something with, with that experience that I have, you know? Uh, and we started to make uh, Normal Bodies, which was named Tits and Hips in the beginning. <laughs> and she always said that she was all tits and hips. Uh, eventually, we started an Instagram because we wanted to have somewhere where we could see all kinds of body represented. 
we remember when we were young and we didn't really like that the representation was very limited to a certain type of body type. And that didn't make us feel very good sometimes. So we said, well, why don't we do somewhere where we could share a more diverse body representation and that could help young girls to, to know that everybody is normal, that there's so many different body types and, and so many different uniqueness and beauty in this world. <laughs> so that's a little how, how normal body started. That's, that's the story behind it. We are currently now on, on Instagram. Uh, I'm the artist behind. I paint every single woman there uh, by hand in watercolor. <laughs> Thank you, Mimi. <laughs> and uh, people send their stories, whichever place they are on their body journey, on their body acceptance, on their body positivity. We are open to everyone who, who wants to just share or, or talk about or, or rant or anything just about their, their body, body journey and in hopes to help people see a very diverse representation of it. We strive to have a place where we could have an open place, a very free space where we could talk about the things because not always do we feel very good in our bodies. It is a, a difficult journey sometimes to accept yourself. And it's okay if sometimes you don't feel that great. If you feel like today you don't look your finest and it's okay when you do look your finest and you accept it and you see yourself. Uh, so it's been a, a very good journey for, for us and I hope for all the girls who have participated in the book. Uh, it is open right now. Everybody can participate in it, uh, except cis men for the time being. We focus more on, on women and because we are women, <laughs> but um, it is open. We do not charge anything, just for the girls, you know, they can, anyone in the world, there's no charge at all. They can send their stories and I get to paint them. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much for that introduction. So um, we will talk after the meditation about your experience and I hope uh, you enjoy it. So we are going to start with it. Just give us a little bit of time, okay? Okay. You are taking some time to get comfortable now. You can move around and get as cozy as possible. There's nothing you can do wrong or right at this time. You are just going to settle for the next 30 minutes knowing that this time it's all about you. This is all for you to celebrate the vessel in which your divine existence is on earth. And if you have not done it yet, please close your eyes. It is time for you to focus your attention and your breath. Inhale through your nose, allowing your breath to travel deeply to the low part of your belly. Hold it for a few seconds before you exhale, slowly and smoothly, releasing all the tension you might have in your body. Through your nose or through your mouth, if you feel more comfortable doing so. Let's take another deep breath. Hold it. And now relax. It's time for you to travel to the most exciting and amazing adventure of your life in a place called my own body and accept it. 
celebrate it, celebrate it for what it is, a normal body carrying a beautiful soul. So imagine yourself in front of a mirror in a beautiful and a peaceful room in which nobody but you is allowed to enter. And here you are with the curiosity of a six year old. Focus your attention in your eyes. And just for a moment, imagine all the places you have traveled to. Imagine all the people you have fallen in love with through your eyes. Imagine all the books you have read and remember all those things that make your heart beat and your mind create. It is time for you to acknowledge the amazing eyes you have. It is time for you to say thank you to your eyes, because if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be who you are. So thank you eyes. Now it's time for you to focus your attention in your nose. And instead of watching a shape, imagine that you have in front of you all the scents you used to love. It might be the perfume of your mother we, that your mother wear for years that make you feel safe. Or the food your grandma used to cook for you. Or just the coffee that you take every morning. You can also remember the deep breath you used to, to center yourself and that breath that reminds you that you are still alive. Now, you can say thank you to your nose by touching it, touching it with your right hand and with love. Try to touch your nose and feel how perfect it is. Isn't it perfect? Say, thank you, nose. Now it's time for you to focus your attention on your mouth by touching your lips with your right hand. How does it feel? Warm, cold, with wrinkles, soft. Remember what was the first thing that you touched your lips this morning? Maybe it was a kiss from the person you love or a cup of your favorite drink or just a little bit of water to wake you up. What was the kindest thing you said to another person in the past week or month or year? Could you remember when was the last time you were kind to yourself? If you can't, please repeat after me. I am normal. I am beautiful. I am divine. I am enough. Now touch your lips again and say, thank you. Because without you, it could not taste, it could not speak. 
and I could not feel all the beauty that it had felt so far. Say thank you, lips. Thank you, mouth. It is time for you to focus your attention on your neck. What do you see? There might be a wrinkle or two. Your neck could be large or short. But aren't you missing how important this mechanism is to allow you to look at the sky and see all those shiny stars in a bright night? Or when you look down to see your pet or some kids enjoying life by playing with something they just found? Or when you turn around to get that kiss that you were waiting for a long, long time? Or simply, when it helps you to focus your eyes into that book that keeps you awake at night because you just can't get enough of it. Can you acknowledge all of that and say, thank you? Thank you, Nick. Now please focus your attention on your chest that part of your body, which might be a reminder of the toughest and bravest love lesson learned, the scar when somebody loved left, and the acceptance of that departure. Maybe a heartbreak that rocked you so deep to your core. The reason why you show others kindness and support the same chest that carries a heart full of life that said yes to possibilities, that says new connections, that says yes to life. So acknowledge that, say thank you. Now focus your attention into your belly. Put your hands in it. Feel every stretch mark, every loose skin, every surgery stitches. And remember that they represent a battle that you have fought. And those are your war wounds and you should be proud of it. You won't find anybody with the same shape, with the same story. And now treat your belly the same way you would treat someone else suffering. Treat your belly with love. You can help yourself by warming up your hands and giving it a gentle massage. Say, thank you, belly. Thank you. Now it's time for you to focus your attention into your legs and feet. Those that have carried you to travel the world, to hold you still while waiting for good or bad news. And no matter the size or the length, or the length they were there for you. They were there for you on your first steps, on your first game, or simply to take you away of something that scared you to death. Maybe you only have one or one prosthetic or both, but no matter how, they are currently allowing you to run, to work, to bike, to hike, to jump, to sit, to simply stand still. So acknowledge all of that and say, thank you, legs and feet. And now focus your attention into your arms and hands. 
their shape and size have allowed you to create, cultivate, rescue, hug and hold someone with love, to make someone to feel accepted, to make someone to feel that he or she matters, to make you feel the love and care of others. Those arms are hands that work hard to create small things and big things, like a scarf, a building, breakfast for your family in the morning, to drive you, your kids to school, to work, to write, to say hello, to say goodbye. So it is time for you to take your arms around your body and give yourself a hug and say, thank you, thank you. Focus your attention now on your full body. And remember, your body is a vessel, but it is also a canvas that has been given to you. And it is not immutable, it is on you. That canvas has a unique story to tell, a unique beauty that you can recognize as yours, a canvas in which you can make a statement to yourself with no external validation needed. Remember that beauty is a state of mind and your body is not just an object to be crafted and looked at. It is an evolving creation. It is your lifetime companion. So make a commitment to respect it a little bit more every day. And repeat with me. My body is my love. It is unique. It is, it is full, full of peaceful energy. energy. I thank my body and I am looking forward to see what happens next because my vessel, my body, is intended to fulfill the highest universal truth for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hug yourself one more time. If you feel like it, and come back to the room when you are ready. <laughs>